Can we do take two? Tech Adult Ed Power Lineman Program is a 900 contact hour program. And the reason we call it 900 contact hours is because that's how many hours you're in class. Um, you, the credentials you come out with are um, commercial driver's license, so you can drive uh, a power lineman truck with a trailer, um, your first aid CPR, your OSHA 10, um, you're qualified to climb at 45 feet, and we also do pole top rescue. Um, and this program, the last couple years, has had a 100% job placement rate, and these are fantastic jobs um, that pay well. And we've also had, um, since I've been here, all but two students have jobs prior to graduations. You're gonna start out learning to climb, then um, you're gonna be in the classroom learning about safety every step of the way. You're gonna to learn to tie every single type of knot that a human being can learn to tie. It's like Boy Scout camp, you know, on steroids. Um, and um, you learn to run wiring, um, learning about voyages, learning about electricity, learning to operate our different types of equipment. We have um, a couple big digger derrick trucks. You'll learn to use the auger to dig the holes and you use the arm to set the poles in. And then um, we have a bucket truck that you can learn how to do safety rescue stuff in with that. Um, so there's everything from safety and rescue to electricity to um, kind of a physical construction side of thing. It's, it's a career that it has a lot of different skills that you use. We get you in shape pretty quick. Now I do, when I talk to people, I encourage them you know, if this is something you want to do between now and the start time, do things to build up your legs. Walk a lot, do um, weightless squats at the house, just see how many you can do um, and do stuff like that. Um, and the reason is because when you climb, it's you're going to get sore the first week or two. It's a lot like um, if someone's ever played football or done weightlifting or anything like that, where the first two weeks you do it, you get sore and then after that you're fine. And um, there's a little bit of that with this. And again, we're not going to take them out there the first day and throw them out there climbing for eight hours straight. We'll do a little bit here, a little bit there and keep building. And as their legs build up, they'll be fine. Um, we have had some folks come in the class that were pretty big guys, you know, not just tall, but, but heavy too. And they dropped a lot of weight doing this class, you know, because it is you're outside and you're, you're, you're working and it's physical and um you know, but they really enjoyed it so so yeah there is there is that physical nature of it and um you don't have to be in tip-top shape um but we we will we'll get you there quick i think if you're a person who likes to be outside and likes to do a job um that's physical in nature and um that this can definitely be appealing for you. Um, even the class itself, the way it's structured, um, you're only in class, you know, a handful, and, and what I mean by in classes, in a classroom, a handful of hours over the course of the week. The rest of the time you're out back um, and you're outside. Um, now we do watch the weather. We don't put anybody out there if it's real windy. But there's days that you're going to have class um, and it will be raining a little bit. Um, there's even days where you get one of those late spring snows and they've been out there in the snow. Um, and then there's a lot of really nice summer days, but also a lot of really, really hot summer days. And again, we try to work around that, but um, you have to be a person that likes to be outside and, and likes to use your body and, and as well as your mind with it. So. Um, those are some of the attributes I think you, a person would need to self-reflect about. Get their um, CDL Class A, and that's a commercial driver's license. That means that you can drive, um, it's, it's a restricted Class A, I always specify that. So that means that you can drive a power line truck. So if you've ever seen an AEP truck driving down the road, you'll be able to drive one of those with a trailer attached to it 
and um, you also be able to drive a stick shift doing that. Um, so, because they do have, most of those are automatics, but there are some that is standard shift still. Um, you'll get your OSHA 10 safety card. You'll get your first aid and CPR. And we do all that. We do the safety card and the first aid CPR within the first two weeks of class. Cause again, we, we try to preach safety. Um, you'll be able to, you'll be qualified out to climb at 45 feet. And then the other thing that we do, the other certif certification you get is pole top rescue. Um, and pole top rescue, what that is, is the only person that could, if a lineman is up on a pole and has an issue, some kind of health issue or, or something, the only person that can get up there and save him is another lineman. And the reason is um, with, with wires and things like that up there, you just can't run a ladder off of a fire truck up there. So um, we, we teach our guys to be able to get up there and get someone down and save them in under five minutes. Um, so they have to be able to get up there, tie off, lower them, get back down to do CPR in under five minutes. And most of our guys can do it in under two. So it's, it's pretty amazing to see. Couple, um, I would like, I would like to see a lot more. Um, I know a lot of the companies, um, are actively trying to recruit more females into the field. So um, there's a lot of opportunities out there for a female. And again, it's the same kind of attributes. Are you someone that likes to be outside? Um, are you someone that likes to do a job that's a little more physical rather, you know? Um, and if, if you're um, a female and, and that sounds appealing to you, do not hesitate. There are definitely female linemen out there. And we used to have a female instructor here um, who um, worked for AEP for a long time. And so there's definitely a lot of opportunity out there for females and I would definitely encourage them to, to look into it. Um, they'll be doing both overhead type stuff, you know, where um, you know, they'll be out running trucks and run, you know, in some cases, fiber optic cable. We do a lot with that too. People forget about that, but that's, that's an aspect of this work too. Um, and they'll be climbing and they'll be running um, various types of distribution and, and all those sort of things. But they also are qualified to work underground. So like city of Columbus, for instance, they have a lot of power lines that are actually underneath the sidewalks. And that's a good job for a lot of folks because then, you're going down a manhole cover and you're just walking around fixing stuff. So um, especially every now and then we'll get somebody in the class who realizes they, they don't like climbing or they don't like heights quite as well. So underground is the way to go for them. So um, you know, that's the type of things that are qualified to do. Entry level uh, lineman or lineman class D, sometimes called a groundsman. Um, at most places, because of the level of education that we, we offer with this, other businesses might offer that bring them in as what they call a lineman class C. So you start out as a D, you go to a C, B, and then an A or a top A, or sometimes you'll hear it called a journeyman lineman. That's your, that's your top level lineman. So normally from the time you leave our class, and you start working, it's gonna take you four, maybe five years to get up to that top A journeyman lineman. We encourage a lot of our guys, um, AEP, City of Columbus, IBW 71, those are kind of like the gold ring that people wanna reach for, but it can take time to get hired at those places because of their hiring, the way they hire. So, um, we encourage our folks, hey, start applying at those places, but then if this contractor wants to hire you and work you for six, seven, whatever months, while you're going through the hiring process, as long as you're upfront about that and open about that, they're usually cool with that. And um, you could be getting paid, you know, while you're reaching for that gold ring. all. Um, uh, I heard, and this, this stat was probably two years ago I heard it, but I heard that the average age of alignment in the United States of America was 57 years old. Um, and I heard that there would be half a million additional openings coming. 
Um, so it's a huge need and it's one that young people are starting to realize, hey, I can, I can go to college for four years and rack up $50,000 in debt and have no idea what job I'm going to have when I get out. Or I can do a program like this. I can go to school for six to seven months. It's going to cost about $12,000. And in this particular career field, you're going to have a job probably before you even graduate. Last class that just that's getting ready to graduate. Um, the lowest person is starting out at 1850 an hour. Um, we had several folks get on in that $25 an hour range. Um, and then again, um, I'd mentioned earlier about moving up through the ranks to become a top A lineman. Um, as they move up through the ranks, after four or five years of experience, additional training, when they become that top A lineman, they can definitely expect they'll be making a hundred thousand dollars a year or more. Um, and a lot, you know, some of that's dependent on how much are they willing to travel, are they willing to do storm calls, are they willing to work a little extra overtime here or there, but but a top A lineman should expect to make a hundred thousand dollars a year or more. I can think of one in particular who um, uh, an outside agency paid for him to come to school here. Um, he had, he was married, he had several kids and he was doing everything he could, but he was working that, you know, um, it's kind of the working poor type thing. You know, you're, you're working at uh, fast food or a big box store or something. You're not making a whole lot of money and you're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. But you're not making a whole lot. So they paid for him to come here. And uh, again, he was one of those ones, six weeks before graduation, he had a job lined up. And I think they started him out around $22 an hour, 23 an hour, and he's just moved up really, really quick. To our website, uh, ctech.edu, the letter C-TEC.edu. Uh, go to adult education programs and there's the power alignment page and you can read more about the program. Um, it also has my contact information on it because the first step will be you would reach out to me. I'll set you up a tour and start the registration process with you. So again, go to ctech.edu, adult education programs and then power alignment.